This is the sixth year that we are doing this event. It's a Thai Indian Sports Day under the Indian Association of Thailand. The main thing about this is under the Indian Association, we have 66 communities. So we want to get everyone together through sports. Hello everyone, welcome back to your very own Indo Thai News channel. Today I am at Chulalongkorn University Stadium and I am so damn excited. So first of all, guest experience. How was your experience? The experience was good, and it was really nice to perform for the Indian Sports Day for Her Excellency, Her Excellency Suchitra Durai. And any of you are going to perform in the sports as well? Anyone? Oh wow! Your name? Aryan. And what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to do football and 100 meters race. So we have the girls as well, like really gorgeous ones. So let's ask them their respective beautiful names and all. The name? My name is Kushi. And from where are you? I'm from Gujarat. Gujarat itself? Wow. So we have called people from Gujarat only. No, but I live over here. So do you live here? Are you from India and traveled here? No, I live over here. Okay. What do you do? I'm a student. Okay, great. So all of us are, all of you are students or someone is working as well? Okay, which grades? Tell the audience your grades and like what are you pursuing and stuff? I'm in grade 12. Grade 11. Grade 11. Okay. Uh, university first. Gosh, I don't understand. These kids are supremely talented, man. Dance well, sports as well. Oh my god. Fine, I won't take any of your time and you can just go and change and see you guys soon. Enjoy the event. Bye bye. Thank you. So I was planning to interview Mr. Nikon Sajdev, the Indian High School Day Youth Icon and the Chairman of Youth. So before we before he gets too busy, let's go get him. So, I want you to please tell our viewers that what this entire thing was and how did this idea of bringing Indian and Thai Sports Day come together? Alright, this is the sixth year that we are doing this event. It's a Thai Indian Sports Day under the Indian Association of Thailand. The main thing about this is under the Indian Association, we have 66 communities. So, we want to get everyone together through sports. So this year we are very happy that we, we've got participants from at least 15 to 20 communities already which is a big achievement from last year and total participants as of right now is around 1300 participants from the age of 3 up to 69 the oldest participants so we have this year we have three three main venues outdoor stadium indoors and we have an air conditioned area only for the kids from 3 to 10 and uh, right now all sports are going on so it's going to be a good day no, really, this is like so good that we can see that in the field, in the outdoor stadium, three games are running parallelly and it is so organized that I just heard uh, there was some something going on, some miscommunication and it was so ha like properly handled. It's so tough to organize that way. So what are the challenges which actually came across you guys when you were planning and organizing all the things? Actually, we are very lucky to have a cooperation of many, many societies and every society we have requested them to send their individual volunteers in so with these volunteers what we do is we have a committee meetings and we set it set a proper guideline as i said this is our sixth year so we better start getting good at it 
so no lesser and lesser complaints and like uh, what was the uh, did you what was the support with from the thai government did you got any support from the thai government or what was the cooperation by the thai community basically this event is fully sponsored by our indian community living in thailand by all our sponsors with jaspal being our biggest sponsor thai yepon grand skumbit but uh, we haven't asked the thai government for anything from this except we requested chula to give us a special rate to arrange our uh, organization here our event over here and this is our fourth year in chula so they have give, they are pretty cooperative now that's that that's really nice so would you please just tell us about the arrangements like you were telling me about the food few uh, of the state we were talking about the food so can you tell us about that that what if safe someone from the outside they come here what type of food they are going to enjoy so for spectators and players there's free food for morning breakfast breakfast is usually given by namdari gudwara and misb and then there's food all day till 3 o'clock then after that is high tea till around 5 o'clock so this year our main concept is we've got food from the north all the way to south from but chole bhature all the way down to idli dosas we have everything oh, that's great i'm going to enjoy the food so do my dad he is also here yes, yes. and he, and like i have met many people this time and think i think this time you're getting a lot of footfall as well yes. because like many communities earlier because it was organizing it was being organized for last 6 years but like many community they are coming especially my community i come from the hindi samaj community right. so they people like over there the people were like we are so blessed that we are also being invited and kabaddi i think kabaddi carrom and one more chess. chess is being organized for the first time so why not earlier and why now all right actually we've been inviting every community but as time goes by we are getting better and better into it and this year because of the pm modi function we have got to know more people from the hindu samaj community and the hindu vishnu community yes. the vishnu mandir community and we've been cooperating with them and this year we are so glad we've always told them kabaddi but this year they have actually sent 50 people five teams of 10 each for kabaddi and we are so grateful to them and they've sent 10 volunteers it's going to be a good good future for our indians in thailand because now we are not saying hindus muslims sikhs Christians but we are just saying we are Indians we are one we are here in Thailand and we have to make a mark as Indians and about in the future would we like see a uh, celebrity sports people from India coming to Thailand and doing the inauguration or playing along with the normal civilians is, is that are you planning something like that we just had a talk this morning about it and mr dk bakshi said that next year he'll try to get a few celebrities to come down we'll try to make our event bigger we are just afraid that this year we already had a max capacity of 1300 next year we get more than this how we going to do it maybe we have to have two days one for adults one for kids we have around 600 kids today which is a big big number <laughs> no no seriously i mean the best thing was the age like 69 like the age of the people of 69 age they were so enthusiastic and they were like let's run and i was like wow because today even the youngsters they're always so engrossed in the electronic gadgets not looking outside and my dad he always says ki hamare zamane mein to hum khelte the but like now people are like not like that and the best thing was that everyone from every age group i would like to say that this time the indian high sports day this this is such a big initiative by people that they're actually coming log apne ghar se aa rahe hain theek hai no movies this time so what is your input and what is your personal experience since last 6 years with all this thing going on actually i'm very glad this year seriously from my humble heart i'm really re- thanking everyone that you've made this event a great event all of all the communities you supported the indian association of thailand and they're going to rock and we in the upcoming year of 2020 they're going to have many more events like futsal badminton our next plan is we want to have a youth basketball team and a football team which will represent the indian community where we can send them to go play with other clubs it's uh, like an iit fc or iit basketball club it's in the works and the main request that i really want to say and i want to tell everyone is that next year please apply earlier please don't send me forms on the last day like this. <laughs> it was really but never mind we try to accommodate everyone but next year please try to do it earlier before the deadline okay but on the camera i would like to request i am a dancer as well and i am a sports person as well how should i apply i am a journalist that really <laughs> i would say come for come help dance in the morning 
then after that we do the sports all day <laughs> and then you do journalism you're doing a great job yeah. thank you thank you and so much uh, oh, 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 a session where we'll be dancing all together at around 2 2:30 over here what is this what is the sports which you are playing today any sport if i got to play then who would uh, manage everything and who would arrange it i can't do that i have to be in the management so that others get to play but i when we have new blood coming from all our new communities maybe i'll also get to play and they can handle it well wow, that that was a candid interview with none other than mr nikon sachdev he is a youth chairman and uh, i'm so glad that i got this candid conversation with him so any words thank you so much <laughs> and thank you so much and we'll see you around all day today definitely but only on the only on the uh, what should i say only on a clause a clause that for the next one you have to invite me <laughs> and then for the dance as well as the sports i'll be there so next year you can see there's a commitment from simran that she's going to bring a group and they're going to dance in the morning opening ceremony this on a uh, youtube but still lakhs of people are going to see this mr nikon sachdev himself has given me the word so the next day if you yes, don't find me we'll go and finish the sign and thanks to all these guys they are always uh, yeah, by my side this is sanjay vishal and karan saluja yeah. thank you so they've uh, always been helping for the last 6 years and we're going to rock next year this year puts all how many teams do you want from with the vishnu mandir maybe four more teams on yeah. which I, i i'm a journalist i am not from any community from any group so i am only representing india that's it after all you're all indians thank you thank you thank you so we are honored that we have the vice president and the general secretary of iit along with us let's just, let's ask just few general and genuine questions from them hello sir thank you so much for giving the interview firstly my pleasure it's my pleasure sure sir. so firstly asking what was the entire purpose of organizing such a grand event on such a grand level we've been doing it from last 6 years and we were inspired and convinced by the former prime minister Shri Atal Bihari Vajpayee, who was a great statesman, the objective of this particular uh, event is to assemble all Indian on under the com common uh, on a common platform under the common umbrella, because we have 84 associations in Thailand, and 36 are un uh, under the Indian Association of Thailand umbrella, and th that's why we doing it sports because that's the only event you can assemble. fellow indians who are of any gender any religion any language any color any creed any caste you know that's the only event and this a uh, gigantic event cost us over 2 million baht we have over 1000 participants every year indians of a third fourth and fifth generation and the total public including visitors over 3000 last year we crossed over 3000 this year will be even more and more and more every year so truly you people are a uh, inspiration for the youth to go on with the sports because as we can see that nowadays people are more inclined and indulge with their electronic gadgets so what would be the common message which you would like to pass on to the coming generation and to the youth who are surviving right now the beauty is it's not the achievement when we can achieve 3 4000 indians the achievement is when fourth and fifth generation they hold tiranga and say rang de basanti chola dam nikle is desh ki khatir bas itna armaan hai that's an prize
Mr. Sarabjit Singh Sajdeha has taken over and uh, we've been adding more and more to IAT form, like a youth forum is there. Under youth forum that we have a Indian Thai run and we have a ladies forum where they do the variety of uh, public events, social, event. social events have been done. Now we are adding cricket. So with the sports, we can unite all. I'm Mr. Shum Zedarif, a member of Samakum Thai India. Samakum Thai India, or India Thai Association, has a lot of pleasure to have a chance to do a sport day, a day, for the Chow Thai in India. มีการมีโอกาสที่จะมาร่วมงานได้และต้องขอบคุณมหาวิทยาลัยจุฬาลงกรณ์นะครับที่นะครับให้สถานที่นะครับสนามกีฬานะครับให้ให้พวกเรามีโอกาสจัดงานยิ่งใหญ่ขนาดนี้แล้วสมาคมไทยอินเดียมีความภูมิใจมากที่เราทําลายสถิติปีนี้เรามีนักกีฬามาทั้งหมดประมาณพันกว่าคนครับที่ไม่เคยมีปรากฏการณ์มาก่อนก็เราถึงแล้วแล้วสมาคมเราก็ได้จัดอาหารนะครับให้ทั้งหมดรวมนักกีฬากับผู้ที่มาดูแลการแข่งขันนะครับกับครอบครัวทั้งหมดเกือบ 2,000 กว่าร้อยคนครับก็เรื่องอาหารเรามีทั้งวันก็ตั้งแต่เช้าถึงเย็นแล้วเราก็คิดว่าปีหน้านะครับเราเราคิดว่าเราจะมีโอกาสนะครับจะให้งานยิ่งใหญ่กว่านี้นะครับคำสารเดียวกันฮินดูสมเสียสังไทยแลนด์กับยูคอมมูนิตี้เฮเยี่ยมโมสลีเดียวกันเราอุตตรบาร์ตีเฮโบรักปูร์มันเดอร์เซ่เฮและเป็นครั้งแรกที่ไทยแลนด์มีสอินเดียไทย स्पोर्ट जो स्पोर्ट्स डे में जो है पहली बार हम लोग इकट्ठे हो रहे हैं और पांच टीम हम लोगों ने बनाई है और और एक एक टीम में जो है सात सात प्लेयर हैं और ये टीम कबड्डी की भारत का जो नेशनल गेम पुराना है वो कबड्डी हम लोग पहली बार इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं उसके लिए हम लोग पांच लोग इकट्ठे हुए हैं पाँच टीम इकट्ठे हुए हैं और हमारा जो कलर कोड है जो हम लोग दिखाई पड़ रहे हैं ग्रीन ऑरेंज रेड पिंक एंड स्काई ब्लू ये हमारा कलर कोड है और एक एक टीम में सात लोग हैं और साथ के अलावा जो है उसमें रेफरी है जैसा कि होता है और उसके अलावा जो है एक ही टीम में तीन दो या तीन जो है वो एक्स्ट्रा भी है जो कि अगर किसी को चोट लगे तो वो उसमें वो चेंज होते रहते हैं अपना तो ये हम पहली बार ये खेल खेल को इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं अब हमारे रेड टीम के कैप्टन ब्रह्मानंद मिश्रा बोलिए आप इनको बोलिए जी हम उत्तर भारतीय हैं और हिंदू स्वयं सेवक संघ से बिलोंग करते हैं और कबड्डी पहली बार इसमें इंट्रोड्यूस किया गया है तो हम लोग के लिए बड़ी खुशी की बात है क्योंकि हम लोग का लोकल गेम यही है ब्रह्मानंद मिश्रा हिंदू स्वयं सेवक संघ मैं विनय पांडे गोरखपुर बड़ालगंज से और यहाँ हम लोग का अपने राष्ट्रीय खेल कबड्डी के आयोजन में बहुत गर्वान्वित महसूस कर रहे हैं मैं कपिल राय हिंदू स्वयं सेवक का प्रचार प्रमुख हूँ इससे पहले यहाँ पर हिंदू चेतना संगम हुआ था उसका मैं अध्यक्ष भी हूँ और जहाँ भी इंडिया था स्पोर्ट डे में हर वर्ष इस कार्यक्रम में आता हूँ और कबड्डी का आयोजन इस बार पहली बार रखा गया है और हम लोग कबड्डी गांव से ही खेलते आए हैं मूलतः मैं गोरखपुर का रहने वाला हूँ मिट्टी में हाँ मिट्टी ये हम लोगों की जड़ में है ये हम लोगों के मूल में है हम लोग कबड्डी कबड्डी हमेशा गाँव से ही खेलते आए हैं और कबड्डी हम लोगों को कभी प्रैक्टिस नहीं करना पड़ता है हमेशा हम लोग निरंतर खेलते रहते हैं जी या दिस इज द सिक्स ईयर ऑफ इंडिया था स्पोर्ट्स डे under the banner of Indian Association of Thailand, wherein 36 Indian associations come together, which is an umbrella association so far as Indian Association is concerned. And this goes every year, year by year, a remarkable thing. And this year again, you must be seeing 1,100 I mean, participants. And we have huge sponsors coming from various companies. And kids are enjoying the food. Even the ambassador, uh, Madam Suchitra was here so many hours this morning and it was literally a great fun. Entire objective of this is irrespective of caste, creed, uh, gender, together all Indian people in Thailand and making a difference and talking about health and making this event more and more successful. So, uh, I'm Mrs. Somsong Satya Pimuk. Actually, my husband was the president of Indian Association of Thailand, but I'm also joined hand in helping him in getting the uh, some of the government people to also, also join hand with uh, Indian Association, Indian Sport Day. But I'm very happy to see all Indian uh, really join hand, and also they are together 
Even when PM Modi came here, I saw a lot of almost 5,000 people together. Um, I'm very happy to see that because um, already Indian blood into my body. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm the past president of Indian Association of Thailand. And I'm very happy today, I saw a lot of our Indian who are born here, not born here, but nationality, their fathers or parents are all Indian. So we are very happy to see them all together today. And they are enjoying, playing, and then enjoying their food also here. Nice of you. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Ashish Pool. I am a financial advisor and controller of Indian Association of Thailand. I am uh, connected with the, ever since this association has been revived, I am working on, on behalf of this and I am very pleased to announce that well, this is our sixth uh, platform where we bring all the candidates from Indian origin and Indians and they participate in various uh, fields so that they can <coughs> meet here uh, with all the culture here we are from the North India, South India, West India. All the Indian children are here, either they are born here or they are coming from India. And we are quite sure that uh, this platform will bring a lot of Indians together and sports is only one activity where we can uh, get together on a very friendly manner and we see that this flourishes and I hope that next year our participation will be at least double. That is what we are working for that. Hello, good afternoon to all. As Uncle Bakshi did say, we can do things if we get inspiration and motivation and you can see all our inspiration and motivation here. They respect our ideas, they respect our thoughts and that's what encourages us to do things for people, for the community. And the question that you had asked how about the Indian expats and the local Thai Indian. I'm a Thai born, I'm like a fifth generation. So events like sports event, which is the sixth year now, as you can see, and it's, it's, you know, I'm proud to say that events such as these organized by the Indian Association of Thailand help to bring the expats and the local Thai Indians. I mean, we have all, you name it, Gujarati, Marwari, Muslims, you know, Namdhari, Neeldhari, Sikhs, everybody, Hindu, Punjabi, and this is what we need to teach our ongoing generation that, you know, we are Indians, play together, have fun together, and you know, have a healthy um, Bharat uh, here in Thailand. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Thank you. Let's have a first bite. Dekha hai kya? Ooh, I'm good. I'm not a spicy lover, Max, but I can try. Yeah.